bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. It's Vera Choose. Vera Choose. Really wanna be. Welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about barbie inspired perfumes but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is now my scent of the day is unfortunately a discontinued perfume and it is angel muse or the toilet this perfume smells literally all over this room i sprayed this like two hours ago and i can smell myself so strongly this to me is chocolate and raspberry it's fruity it's gourmand it's light it's beautiful it's fruity it's just it's just so amazing such a shame that it's been discontinued but if you live in the uk you can still find it in some third party websites um if i see any of them i will link it down below for you it's on ebay it's on amazon but just be careful before you buy because there's a lot of fakes out there so that is my scent of the day so moving on to the perfumes i am not gonna go into any notes we're gonna keep this fun it's gonna be fresh it's gonna be pink and i was totally inspired by the new barbie movie i cannot wait to go and watch it i'm not really a pink girl but i have a pink personality does that make sense so pink is not my favorite color at all it's my daughter's it's not my favorite color i personally love red but in terms of personality pink is me i am pink i am very bright i'm very fun i'm very happy kind of person and i feel like a lot of these perfumes are different sides of me probably different sides of you guys out there as well so like i said not going into notes i'm just gonna tell you how these perfumes make me feel how long they last etc etc so we are starting with my flirtatious barbie inspired perfume and this is oriana by performs the mali of course this is such a beautiful feminine fluffy sweet marshmallow orange blossom bright airy just such a cloud of pinkness i absolutely love this perfume so this is my flirtatious barbie next on my list is my tropical barbie and it is dolce garden by dolce and gabbana i am obsessed with the tropicalness in this perfume oh my lord i do not like a coconut no i have said this so many times coconut and me we are not besties but if it's like if it's done the way it's done in this perfume count me in i think it's a frangipani note and the other note in this perfume that just makes it very bright super likable and incredibly long lasting i'm not sure if this has been discontinued but i still saw it on notino the other day um like a few weeks back but if i find all of these perfumes discontinued or not i will have it linked in my description bar below so that is my tropical barbie and it is dolce and gabbana dolce garden so the next perfume is my arabian barbie and this is sweet diamond pink pepper by kayali this is my favorite kayali perfume it is one of the most long lasting ones and i know kayali and last lasting power doesn't always go hand in hand because personally from my experience and loads of people i've spoken to longevity on kayali perfumes are not great fair enough the brand wants you to layer and all of that but i feel like the layering thing should be like by choice not because you have to to kind of make the perfume last longer that's just my opinion don't shoot me um but yeah sweet diamond pink pepper is a very spicy sexy arabian princess it's just giving dubai this is just giving dubai vibes although there's no oud listed i'm so sure there's something oud in here maybe it's the pink pepper that's kind of confusing me i don't know but if you wanted to get a kayali perfume that's giving pink arabian pink princess then definitely check out sweet diamond pink pepper so the next perfume is my romantic barbie and this is C fiori by giorgio armani it's so unfortunate this perfume has been discontinued this is a soft fruity powdery 
vanilla it's a very beautiful powdery scent it gives me lipsticky vibes it's not long lasting i don't think it was made to be this is one for closer encounters private moments this is definitely that perfume if you are looking to test out this perfume i will have it on my website guys if you are looking for like discontinued gems or you want to try any part perfume samples just email me or dm me on instagram or just go onto my website i will have a lot of these kind of discontinued perfumes listed for samples if you wanted to just try it out but c fury is so beautiful light fluffy that's airy it's very pink very girl it's very feminine i absolutely love it so that is c fury by Giorgio armani so next on my list is my powerful barbie and this is roses must by montau i chose powerful because out of all the perfumes i've shown you and i'm about to show you this is the most powerful one this perfume is projecting this is very very strong this fills up a room it's roses it's musk it's powdery it's a little bit woody it's woody in the base it's a very very strong and potent perfume montau as a brand do very powerful perfumes but this is definitely my second favorite my number one of all time is intense cafe but roses musk follows very very closely this is such a beautiful powerful floral longer lasting perfume that you can wear all year round so that is roses musk by montau the next perfume is the favorite by pen halligans and this is my classy barbie this is a very classy um feminine sophisticated very like i'm not trying i mean i'm not trying too hard but you're gonna smell me you're gonna smell me and you are going to love the way that i smell this is the favorite and it is one of my favorite perfumes in my entire collection it is so beautiful it is powdery it is soft it is floral it is quite elegant it's also playful so this is not like um classy stiff this is like classy playful it's a fun and it's not like an uptight kind of classiness this is such a fun and beautiful scent perfect for spring and summer average longevity doesn't project too much after about four to five hours this sits closer to the skin but people are still going to smell you if you're looking for a classy scent that is fun definitely check out the favorite by pen halligans the next barbie is like probably the ultimate barbie honestly this is the lena by performs the mali and this is my sexy barbie now this perfume is not for everybody not everyone is gonna love this because it does have a sour and tart opening the opening of that lychee is quite it can be a little bit much especially if you're not used to niche perfumes done in this way you're gonna need to get your nose on this one first before you buy it this is either a love or a hate and i can testify to that because when i first smelled this per perfume i hated it when i say i hated this perfume i could not get the hype i was watching um i was watching fragrance reviews and lots of people were loving i was thinking are these people getting it for free why is people why are they lying this perfume is crap but after about two years and that is a long time because i'm stubborn i'm a goat i will not stop but go back and try again because i always wonder is it my nose was it the day that i went out was it that I was in a bad mood or did I have a perfume that mixed with this perfume that didn't make it smell nice eventually? What was it? So on this day, on this faithful Sunday, it was a Sunday, I went to Selfridges and I don't know what Delina did to me, guys. It literally <laughs> pulled me in like this. It pulled me in and I was like, wow, 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 wow. Baby, please buy it for me. Called on my husband to, to buy it for me. Like, you know, of course, it was right there now. Buy it, baby. So my husband bought this for me and uh, i've not looked back i will always always have this perfume in my collection like i said it's either you love or you hate it for me i absolutely love it i'm obsessed with it but not initially so if you're like me 
and you weren't really feeling Delina, you may never like it. Don't get me wrong. You may go back and test and try and you may always hate it. But give it a try. Give it a try. Give it several tries before you actually say, you know what? This is not for me. And as popular as this perfume is, I don't smell it on people. It's not like Baccarat Rouge popular. It's popular, but you're not going to smell people wearing this. I don't. I've never smelled this on anyone when I go out. And I go out. And the only person I smelled this on um, was Clemence when we met up a few weeks ago. And she smelled unbelievable. I was sniffing, literally sniffing on her because this perfume was so, so sexy. So try Delina out. Don't rule her out at all. I don't even like using pronouns for perfume. It's a bit weird. But yeah, <laughs> try Delina. I find it very sexy and it is extremely, extremely long lasting. I'm talking all day long, all night long on me anyway, on me, you know, so definitely check it out so that is delina by perform the mali so the next barbie is my rich barbie and this is rose cherie by gola this guys this perfume is the best rose perfume out there come and argue with me this is the best rose perfume out there in my humble opinion i am a lover of rose perfumes but there is something extremely beautiful beautiful about this perfume this should be in every woman's collection if you love like if you love a feminine scent and you love rose even if you don't like rose and you want to get into that rich girl energy definitely get yourself rose sherry by girl lamp it is pricey a lot of the girl lamp perfumes especially ones from this line are so 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 expensive but my god are they worth it they are absolutely worth it you're gonna smell rich opulent this is very very long lasting it projects it leaves an amazing scent bubble behind when you walk past someone they are bound to look back they're about to look look back like ah, who's that and that's what this perfume is all about it is such a beautiful feminine rose perfume that i highly recommend so that is rose cherie by Guerlain um the next one is gonna be throwing a little bit of shade but this is for entertainment purposes so please don't get offended this is <laughs> my slutty barbie and i say slutty because this perfume is common af this perfume is so common everybody like i don't know anyone that doesn't have this or maybe they used to have it or they want to get it or they currently have it it's a very it's a very common kind of perfume and, it's, <laughs> and it is valentino's donna born in roma and i know you guys are gonna come for me hard but i can take it i can take it bring it on but no don't come for me please um valentino donna born in roma it's a slutty one because it's common everybody has it everybody can get it you know um and i absolutely love it i love that it's quite common and it smells like your generic fruity floral nothing groundbreaking nothing special but it's not everything that has to be special in one's collection this can just be easy throw one you're going on a date you are going to as that sings breeze to the market you are going shopping you are going to have a baby you are going to whatever you want to do this perfume fits the bill just well you can wear it to work you can wear it to a rave a bar brunch lunch <laughs> it's so versatile very very common it's giving a little little bit of a um, sexual appeal but not sexy it's like a it's oozing some kind of come 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 to me kind of scent it's really really lovely and i'm not bashing this perfume guys i'm not because i have it and i i clearly love it it took me a while though to love it only because everywhere i turned yeah when i would go on my school run drop my kids in school when i am going to selfridges when i'm on the train i smell this perfume more than i smell baccarat rich 540 it was extremely common it's down it's died down a little bit now it's not everyone that has it but it's my <laughs> slutty barbie and last but not least is the ultimate barbie and it is pink me up by atelier des guys this perfume 
it's a huge love for me i have never fallen so hard for a perfume the way i have fallen for this gem right here pink me up is that pink champagne rose musk patchouli <laughs> now i say patchouli like that because patchouli is like people hate patchouli and i don't know why patchouli grounds perfumes from being too sweet or too much it just literally grounds perfumes but the patchouli here you can't even smell it like it is not it's not there at all to my nose not even in the dry down it is a little bit musky in the base it's also powdery but that champagne note that champagne note is what i love the most about this perfume it just gives it a sparkling feel it's long lasting smells incredible i absolutely love it and i highly recommend it lovelies that is it for this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye